Welcome to Parallels Basics. This is your follow along workout routine to learn the basics on the Parallels. This program comes in three different difficulties and you can find the other levels in the video description. So have a look down below. There is also a German version available on the channel of Melody. So have a look at that as well. I have included time codes in the video description. You can also mix exercises up from the different difficulty levels. I hope you enjoy this workout. If you have any questions, write them into the comments. Please also give this workout program a thumbs up. And since Parallels training is very heavy on the push muscles on the front of your body, I suggest that you mix in a few pulling exercises so you don't get muscle imbalance. A common question is how wide to set up your parallels. So a good rule of thumb is to take the distance from your elbow to your middle finger and make sure that they fit about between the parallels. So a little bit wider in this example here, just like this, exactly. Also there are three ways to grab the parallels. You can grab the front area, you can grab the middle or the back area. Depending on the exercise, this makes an exercise harder or easier. This is a follow along routine. Start your favorite music. Let's go with the warm up. We start with arm circles. Do 10 movements into each direction. And then you repeat it. Do big circles now. 10 times into both directions. We continue with this swinging movement back and forth. Now relax your arms and swing them from left to right and back. Now put up your arms and rotate in your shoulder joint. Make sure that the rest of the arms is only moving slightly. Now roll your shoulders forward and after about 10 times roll them into the opposite direction. For the last warm-up exercise extend your hands and make fists and open them. Make sure that you really really punch your fingers together into a strong fist before you open them explosively. After about 10 times, you rotate your arms and repeat. And that's it, you're warm now. We continue with four core exercises, the body line drills on the parallels. Grab the parallels and make a nice plank. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked above your hands and make sure that your spine is in a nice straight line and you don't arch your back. Make sure that you don't rest between the body line drills or rest as little as possible. Five, 
four, three, two, one. And now relax and go into the next exercise. For the second drill, you go into a reverse plank position. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked above your hands again and you hold this for one minute as well. Five, four, three, two, one. And now relax and go into the next exercise. The last two drills are the side plank, again shoulders above hands, and you hold each side for 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now switch to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Relax for a minute or two, and then we'll step straight into the main workout. Let's start with the workout. It's five exercises, and you do them two times. We start with the support hold. Grab the parallels in the middle, walk in between them, and then with straight arms, and this is important, you press yourself up and take a feet off the floor. If you can't hold this for 60 seconds as indicated, go out of the exercise, rest a few seconds and go back in. At the end of the 60 seconds I have included a timer in the video for one minute rest before the second exercise starts. This is done the entire workout, so you can follow along. After you have completed the first five exercises, they will repeat and you will then end the whole workout with a cool down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. The second exercise is the support jump. So squat in front of the parallels, grab them in the middle and then with straight arms you jump from one end to the other end. And then you jump back. 
This counts as one repetition and you do this for 8 times. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. The third exercise are knee push-ups. If you need to put something under your knees, then grab the parallettes and go down until your shoulders are at the same height of the parallettes and push yourself up back into the starting position. Do this for 8 repetitions. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. The fourth exercise is the assisted elbow lever. Grab the parallels in the middle and now bend your elbows toward your abdominal muscles and really squeeze them hard. Now you balance your body weight onto your elbows as much as possible. You can balance the weight between your feet and the elbows but try to gradually increase the body weight that is put up on your elbows so that when you level up you can take your feet off the floor and balance your body weight on your hands and your elbows. But for now, do the assisted version. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest.
The fifth and last exercise is the assistant shoulder stand. You stand in front of the parallel and then you go down as you would in a push-up. Once you are down, rest your shoulders on the parallel and assist your body weight with it. While you are in this position, try to press your shoulders up so that they slightly float above the parallels if possible. If you are not strong enough to do this yet, just stay here until the 60 seconds are over. Feel free to go out of this hold and go back in after a few seconds rest, until the 60 seconds are over. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. Now that you have completed the five exercises, rest for a minute and then repeat them as done before. We start with the support hold. Grab the parallels in the middle, walk in between them and then with straight arms, and this is important, you press yourself up and take your feet off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. The second exercise is the support jump. So squat in front of the parallels, grab them in the middle and then with straight arms you jump from one end to the other end. And then you jump back. This counts as one repetition and you do this for eight times. Five, 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now end the exercise and rest. The third exercise are knee push-ups. If you need to put something under your knees, then grab the parallels and go down until your shoulders are at the same height of the parallels and push yourself up back into the starting position. Do this for 8 repetitions. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. The fourth exercise is the assisted elbow lever. Grab the parallels in the middle and now bend your elbows toward your abdominal muscles and really squeeze them hard. Now you balance your body weight onto your elbows as much as possible. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest.
The fifth and last exercise is the assistant shoulder stand. You stand in front of the parallel and then you go down as you would in a push-up. Once you are down, rest your shoulders on the parallel and assist your body weight with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now end the exercise and rest. You have finished the workout, congratulations! Let's go into the cooldown. The cooldown consists on two exercises, the dog and the cobra. So basically you stand in front of the parallels and do this L shape with your body and then you lean forward with straight arms and go into an arched back position. Those are two yoga exercises and they are really good after all this working out. Thank you very much for doing Parallels Basics. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and please also visit the channel of Melody who stood model for the various exercises. You can find the link to her YouTube channel in the description. <laughs> we'll see each other next time on Ticket to Fitness. Goodbye.